What is up, my buttery biscuits? Y'all, it has been two weeks since I filmed a video. And honestly, it's not like I was taking a vacation or a break or anything. I just kind of have been in a little bit of a slump. Like, I have not known what to film. There hasn't really been any drama going on in the beauty industry. And on top of that, too, y'all know normally I like to do reviews as well. There hasn't really been any products that pique my interest. So... I just haven't done a video in a long time and I'm sitting over here like, oh my gosh, this is literally the longest break that I have taken in the past two years. Um which is really weird to me. I just felt really weird about it. I'm like, oh my gosh, like a two week break. Okay, maybe like a week. You know what I'm saying? Like there has been times that I've taken like five, six days off. However, this is literally 14 days now since I filmed or uploaded my last video. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel weird about it. But anyways, as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be talking about James Charles with Morphe. This is an update to my previous video, actually. Um, However, I will do a little recap within this video so that way you guys don't have to check back into that video because I do know that is a little annoying to go back and watch a video. So I'll give you guys a little recap and then get into the new news going on with Morphe. Before we get into today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to um, Yeti, y'all. Oh my gosh. Well, Logitech owns them, but huge shout out to them because they actually sent me this. Not sponsored at all, but I just really wanted to give them a shout out because I thought this was the coolest thing, y'all. Like, I have been obviously on social media for like six years now, and I have never had a tech company send me a gift. And they sent me this, y'all, and I'm so excited because I do have the um, Blue Yeti, the like cheaper version of this, but they sent me the Big Daddy right here so i'm so excited to try this out and i just thought it was really cool that a tech company sent me something like i never would have expected that i was like did you guys get the wrong person are you guys meaning to send this to me i'm just so excited for this y'all because yes i have been on the pr list but for makeup i have never gotten a tech product i got super super excited about that so I wanted to give them a huge shout out. Um, I'm going to be trying out that mic actually on a live video coming up very soon. I'm still using my regular blue Yeti one right now. However, I hear that that one is way better. So I'm super excited to try that. But anyways, y'all, completely off topic. If you guys are interested in today's topic, of course, go ahead and keep on watching. If y'all are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so that way you'll get notified when I upload a new video. And make sure y'all give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all, I have got to shave. I'm sitting over here looking at all this stubble and I'm like, oh uh, my skin would look good if I didn't have that stubble but y'all oh my gosh I literally shave and like the next day it's popping out I low-key kind of want to like do laser hair removal just for that area but then I feel like that'd be stupid because what if I want to grow it out anyways y'all oh my gosh don't let me start rambling about nonsense because y'all it has been so long since I talked to you guys that I'm gonna just sit here talking about random things <gasps> speaking of random things oh my gosh I promise this is the last thing I'm gonna ramble about but just yesterday I went to Sam's Club and if you guys shop at Sam's Club they have these circus cookies there that have white chocolate chips inside them so it's kind of like a take on like you know the the circus animal cookies the pink ones with the sprinkles i actually did a makeup look of that i'll go ahead and put a picture right up here but i went to sam's club and they have like a big old box of them like they're just like they're baked cookies but oh my gosh y'all i am not kidding you when i tell you i've literally eaten 20 in the past day literally like they are so bomb anyways totally off topic i'm so sorry i got super excited about that because oh i love those animal cookies and then i saw dairy queen actually just came out with like a blizzard of those animal cookies they are so bomb Anyway, sorry, y'all. Let's go ahead and get back on topic here. I do apologize. I gotta go live soon because I miss talking. <laughs> anyway, so this is going to be the recap right here. I'm really not gonna go into the full details of the James Charles um, allegations. Y'all know I just don't feel comfortable talking about that, but I do like talking about the Morphe... Um, situation that is going on so this actually happened on um april 16th where they had said that they're going to be winding down the cells of the james charles collaborations with morphe um a lot of people have a lot of opinions about this and i know a lot of people have really like kind of came at me a little bit crazy over my opinions about this because Y'all know how I feel about Morphe. They did me so dirty in the past. And ever since then, I'm just like, ugh. Like, I literally just do not F with them at all. Like, ugh, I just feel like they're such a shady company. However, my opinion still do stand firm in the aspect of they are a business. And they do need to sell these products. I know that there is a lot of uh, people out there on the internet that are like, no, they need to just throw them away. But then I'm like, y'all, that is just so wasteful. So I personally feel that they should offer them at a discounted price. But we'll go to get into that in just a minute. I do want to go ahead and read their um, last tweet about this whole situation so that way you guys have a little bit of a recap before we go into this. So this is what they said on April 16th. In light of the recent allegations against James Charles, Morphe and James have agreed to end our business relationship and wind down sales of the Morphe Times James Charles product offering. 
It is and ho has always been Morphe's goal to create a positive, safe, and empowering space where all beauty lovers can freely share their artistry and passion for cosmetics, and Morphe is committed to furthering that goal. I'm not going to go ahead and read James Charles' um, tweet in this, the last one that he had put out about the um, Morphe situation, because y'all, I did a whole video on that, and I was just very disappointed with his choice of wording within his um, statement with him and Morphe. I was just like... It just really turned into a whole victim blaming type of thing, and I just really did not like it. And I was like, y'all, I was really hoping that he would come out on top over here and actually, like, learn from this situation and really correct his wrongs. But it doesn't really seem like he's doing that. But um, that, y'all, if you guys want to go back to that video, y'all can go back to that video because... I will go off on a tangent with that because I was just very disappointed within his, you know, choice of wording within that statement. If you guys know me, if you guys watch my channel frequently, I'm very, very positive, very optimistic, and I always like to look at things at the glass half full. And I really have tried in every single situation that I have commented on before. It was just really hard to try to find a silver lining within his statement. I just felt like it was very, very bad choice of wording. I was like, no, it does. It really just seems like he's blaming everybody else. Um, anyways, y'all. So this is what I wanted to talk about. And this is the update right here. I low-key feel like Morphe is just so shady, y'all. Like, I just feel like this is just, like, a slap in the face, you know? That they're going to discount his products now, but literally by $2, by $4. A very, very, like minimum amount of discount so this is actually the morphe times james charles mini palette right here so the original price of this is 26 dollars, and they have it listed for 24 dollars. that is literally just a two dollar discount i do not understand what their whole purpose of this is if you guys remember with the whole Je uh, jeffree star and shane dawson situation as soon as they started discounting the jeffree star cosmetics on their um um on their account or not on their account on their website they went down big time y'all there were some of his products towards the end which i know it took about i want to say maybe six months that some of his products got down to four dollars you know however i never seen them do just a minimum like two dollar drop and this one to me i'm like Y'all, I kind of feel like this is a slap in the face. It's kind of like, what do you get out of saving $2, you know? And let's keep it real. If there's anybody out there watching this video that has dealt with product development before, y'all know that they're at most paying for this palette probably $2. Like, literally, maybe $3. Honestly, their packaging is so cheap, and their formula is obviously not the best. So I'm going to say maybe $3 at the highest. So they can actually mark down this mini palette to literally $10 and still be making a profit off of it. But I do understand at the end of the day, I'm going to keep on saying it that they are a company and they obviously do want to make the maximum amount of money i totally understand that however i do think the best thing to do is to discount it at least start off with 30 percent off you know what i'm saying not just two dollars like i'm just kind of like um i just don't get it honestly i really would have started off at 50 percent. like let's keep it real they should have probably marked that down to like i don't know 13 dollars <laughs> I don't really get it, but y'all let me know your two cents on that because come on, $2 off. Anyways, this is the next one right here. This is the Morphe Times James Charles Eye Brush Set. So this is marked off $6. The original price is $59 and now it is at $53. Yet again, I just don't really get it. If they have a surplus of inventory, then obviously they need to get rid of it. And a lot of people are not really purchasing his products right now, given the allegations, you know. Um, and I'm going to keep on calling them allegations because I'm just covering my ass, y'all know what I'm saying? Because even though he came out and said that things are, you know, true, that he admitted to it, um, I guess they're still considered allegations. So I'm going to keep on calling them that, just letting you know. But I don't feel like anybody's really purchasing his stuff right now. And I think that they should discount it 40 to 50 percent off. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so this is the... Uh, James Charles palette right here. This is marked down $4. So the original price is $39 and they just marked it down to $35. I just don't really understand, like, on this. Like, do they think by marking their palettes down by just a little bit that people are going to jump on it and be like, oh, my God, I'm saving $4. Let me hurry up and purchase it. Like, that doesn't cross my mind. I'm never like that. Like, honestly, y'all, if something is marked off, like, 50%, then I'll be like, oh, let me hop on it and get it, you know? But if it's, like, $4 cheaper, what is that really saving? You know what I mean? Anyways, moving on here. So this is the James Charles brush set. So this one, I think, um, has the biggest discount on it. So it was originally $150, and now it is at $135. So that is a $15 savings, which realistically, they can afford to do it way more you know, cheap, give a bigger discount on it. Um, I don't know, y'all. When it comes down to Morphe and them winding down the sales of things... 
I just don't get it. I really don't. Like, I really feel like the first thing that they should do is mark it off by 50% because, y'all, they still do make a profit with that. If you guys have used Morphe before, yes, I've said before, their products are good. You know, they're really not horrible products, but they are not the best of quality. Like, if you guys have felt their pellets before, they are cheaply made. So that means a big pellet like the original James Charles pellet probably cost at most five bucks you know what i'm saying so if they were to charge let's just say twelve dollars for that they're still making a good profit on it while getting rid of that product um I say it say, uh, like time and time again, and I totally understand that people are going to argue with me on this point. They're a business. They need to make money. They obviously invested millions into doing this collaboration with James Charles, and they obviously need to sell this product because they can't take that big of a company loss. Um, and I know a lot of people disagree with me on that. A lot of people think that they should just give the pallet away for free, or they should just throw it in the trash, or just like recycle it or something like that. However, I think of it in a business aspect as to where if you put millions of dollars in, you got to at least make some profit back, or else that is a huge company loss. And y'all, I say this before and I think about it this way, like I get nervous in the aspect of if a company was to take such a huge loss like this, like they're going to end up like Becca and end up going out of business. And y'all, that is losing obviously a lot of people jobs and i think of it that way and i kind of get a little bit like oh my gosh y'all like i totally understand okay james did bad however at the end of the day a company like morphe is obviously employing thousands of people and if they were to take a multi-million dollar loss they're going to cut jobs or they're going to cut hours do you know what i mean so i think of it that way and i think about it in the business aspect and i know a lot of people disagree with me on that but i just feel like that's the most rational way to think about it but that's just my personal opinion anyways i did want to touch up on this topic because this is a lot of things people were commenting about in my previous video Video. This is Morphe Brush's pages page right now on Instagram. And they still never said anything on their Instagram. And I did want to get your guys' thoughts and opinions about this because Morphe only put it on their Twitter and that is pretty much it. And obviously a large portion of their following is not on Twitter. So I do know obviously with commentary channels like myself, we obviously do put, you know, the tweets out there. But what about the millions of people that are on Instagram that did not see their statement about James Charles? You know what I mean? So what do you guys feel about that? Do you guys feel like they should come forward and make a statement on their Instagram or should they just like let it be? Because I always kind of feel like shouldn't you put it on your biggest platform that's just me and my personal opinion um however i totally know that they don't want too many people to know about it so obviously they played it smart and was you know obviously strategic about it by placing it on their twitter when that's where they have the least followers you know what i'm saying anyways y'all so that is it for today's video that is the update i am going to be going live next week so uh make sure you guys have your post notifications on so that way y'all can kick with kick, kick, kick it with me on live because y'all oh my gosh i haven't been live in like one month so it's about time i have some drinks on live and let's talk about some things um that'll be next week i really don't know when i don't know which day that's why i say turn on your post notifications so that way you'll get notified when i go live so anyways y'all let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything and i'll catch you guys in my next video <laughs> i cannot talk today i'll catch you guys in my next video peace out girl scout